Am I in trouble? Or... Look familiar? Oh, well, uh, 51 Shades of Grey. That's, that's a really good title. <laughs> uh, but I can't say it looks familiar. Christ, Julia. This was brought to my attention by one of your students. 51 Shades of Grey. <sighs> yes, Becky. Miss Summers, did Principal Davis approve this? I don't think this is appropriate reading material. Principal Davis isn't here today, Becky! So you can sit down, okay? Thank you. Sure. Snitches get stitches, Becky. I'm sorry? Okay, fine. It was me. I wrote it. I don't see what the big deal is. You were supposed to be teaching the French Revolution. And I did. I mean, I was. The script takes place during the French Revolution. It is extremely educational. Did you even read it? There's a scene where you wrote, fist me harder, daddy, until I feel something. Oh, I guess you did read it. Did you really think that this was appropriate for middle schoolers? Look, it's not like they know what fisting is. They do now, Julia. Look, here at School in the May, we have ideals, Julia. Principles, scruples. They don't seem to align with what you stand for. What are you saying? And I think it would be best if you do not report to work tomorrow. Or ever. Oh, sorry. Here's the keys, babe. Babe. Thank you. There you go. Hey, chef. Party's here. Aaron. Yay. <laughs> I meant me, but okay. I'm so glad you were able to make it. Is this your guys' place? It's gorgeous. You can thank Sarah for that. Thank my parents. Actually, they're both really big players in the real estate business, so when we moved out here, they helped us find this unnecessarily beautiful place. They own it, we just pay rent. Oh, who's we? Oh, that's right, sorry. Myself, Hardwick, and our friend Julia. Julia never actually moved in, however, so it's just been Hardwick and me, and of the two of us, I'm the only one working, so I'm the only one paying rent. You're not the only one working here, Sarah. I'm doing that thing with Pepsi. What, what thing? Oh, did you get a new gig, babe? No. Just doing the paid promotion for them with Instagram is a thing. So you did get a gig, a job, sorry. That's so exciting. I didn't know you were in talks with Pepsi. I'm not in talks with Pepsi, I'm just, Gonna film a video, send it in, and obviously they're gonna love it. And then boom, money for Hardwick. What is so hard to understand about that? That's not how that... You know what? Never mind. There is a reason why I am not in the industry. Oh, what do you do, Sarah? I'm a chef, sous chef, actually, at an Italian restaurant in Westwood. And this is chicken carbonara, all for you. Erin, I know you're a bit of a pasta fan, so... This is my pleasure. Well, thank you. Yeah, well, we would have been here sooner had someone not had to stop to use the restroom. Do you mean me? No, we would have been here sooner if you didn't ask me to wait in the car for four hours so you could meditate. Well, I can't meditate while we're driving. I will get motion sickness. But fortunately for me, I'm dating a prince who has the patience of a saint. You really are. Well, anyway, uh, Sarah, uh, about that third room, I would love to take it. Really? Oh my god. I'm so happy you said that. We still have to show you the room, obviously, but that can wait till after dinner. I'm, I'm gonna finish cooking and you guys just hang out. Sure. Sounds good to me. Hi, babe. I'm so sorry. You know, I'm, I know, I know. It's just. Today at work was, it's just been a fucking day. You all right? I, uh, I was fired, so. What? Yeah. 
Julia, why? Oh, it, it was nothing. Julia, please don't tell me this has something to do with an inappropriate script. No. No. Oh, Jesus, Julia, I don't... I can't understand why you keep on doing this to yourself. It's sabotage. I, why on earth do you keep on sacrificing money, good money on some pipe dream that has given you no indication that I'll love you back? God, you're such a child sometimes. Charlie, it's not like that. Where do you see yourself in five years? I... You first. I own a home. Right? I, I own some land on the outskirts of the city with, with a dog, or maybe two, and the white picket fence, a wife, kids. Yeah, and I want all of those things too, I too. I'm just not ready to settle down like that yet. I know. So I was thinking of getting the salmon. What are you gonna get? Julia. No, you're probably right. It's a bad day for seafood, so I will Julia. get a salad. I'm gonna get some vegetables. Julia! Charlie, don't do this. I can't do this without you. Look, I know it was my fault that I was fired. I was stupid and selfish and childish. But I swear I will never do anything like that again. I will never, ever let that happen. I love you, Julia. But I think it'd be best for both of us if you weren't home when I got off of work. I'm really sorry. Charlie, please. Charlie, where would you have me go? Are you ticklish? No. Why? Really? You don't feel this? I mean, I feel it. I'm just, I'm not ticklish. So what do you feel when I do this? Irritated? Oh. Hardwick code red. Oh, babe, 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 you should go. Oh. Why, did, did I do something wrong? No, 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 no you, no, you didn't do anything wrong. It's just, uh, my friend Julia's in a really hard place right now and she's on her way over and I just think it'd be weird if you were here. Right now, like right now. Okay, why would it be weird? Well, because she's moving in. But I thought I was moving. Is there a fourth room? No, there's only three and it's already been claimed. Because I claimed it. No, Aaron, it's, it's Julia's. She needs it more. I'm sorry, it's not up for discussion. Hardwick and I, I can't just share a room with you. I'm your boyfriend. Hardwick. Dude, you can't be serious. Hi. Who's this? No one. I mean, my boyfriend, but... Boyfriend! Oh, he was just leaving. <laughs> oh my god. You are the absolute worst to him, Hardwick. My god, he can stay with you in your room. He's a nice guy. No, I'm not, and no, he can't. It's okay, it's all right. And the worst part is that I'm the one that's made to feel like a child. And I'm not. I'm just... I'm just trying my best. I'm trying really hard to... to be an adult and be responsible. Ever since when is that such a bad thing? So they didn't have any Moscato, but I got you rosé. And we have your favorite flavor. Cookie dough. <clears throat> Oh, no, Jules, use a glass. Oh, my. Okay. All right. Stop. Okay. okay. No, no. Okay. Take that. And take we're that done. Her, please. And please we take it. Done. Yep. done. Oh. yep, we're done. Yeah. Yeah. That's I the one. Bet you're coughing. We're gonna. Thank you. Let's try to get some food, too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll let you have that. You know, Charles followed me all the way to California. I thought he was the one. No. I loved him. I thought he believed in me, you know? But he had these 
visions of the future, and I guess somewhere along the lines, I just stopped becoming a part of them. I don't know when he decided I didn't fit in, but I wish he just talked to me. So you're not mad about being fired? Of course I am, Sarah. I just... Charlie, that just... That just hurts so much more. Thought he was the one. <laughs> well, obviously not. I know they say there's plenty of fish out there in the sea bay, but there's mm -hmm. plenty of trash, too. Charlie wasn't the trash, I think it was me. No, <sighs> you're no. not trash, Julia. I mean, this whole thing, yeah, it's awful, but I don't know, maybe this is something you could actively turn into a much needed wake up call. What do you mean? You had these dreams that brought you to California and I'm not saying it was a bad move, it's good to dream. And I mean, even Charles followed you out here because of them. But I think you spent so much time dreaming that you lost sight of something really important. Like what? Like Charles. When you met him, he was your spotlight. But you sort of forced him into the back seat. And I mean, nobody likes to be the soft light to someone they love. So what do I do? Grow up. Look in the mirror, do some self-reflection, and get your life back together. Especially if you're gonna be living here because rent is really expensive. If the principal at your old job is gonna get in the way of you getting a new one, then I want you to either try and get your old job back or at least get him to believe in you enough to write you a recommendation. You really think he's gonna do that? I mean, you've had a wake up call, Jules. Life took away the two things that made you comfortable, and I think you realize that. If you talk to him, right, you show him how you've changed, how you've grown, then, yeah, I think that he will. Will you help me? Yeah, I can try. Yay! Okay, okay. Yeah. Julia, you just take your shoes off. God. God, this is the worst idea you have ow, ever had, ever. I can't believe you talked me into doing this. I didn't talk you into doing anything, Sarah. I told you exactly what I was gonna do, and you volunteered to help me. Damn it, Julia. No, when you said you need help trying to get your job back, I didn't realize it would require breaking and entering, none of which I'm good at, by the way. This isn't breaking and entering, Sarah. <sighs> what is it? We are simply unlawfully entering a residence without permission with the intent to take things. <gasps> that is the literal definition of breaking and entering, which is a crime! <gasps> this isn't a crime, Sarah. What? <laughs> it's only a crime if the cops get called. Oh my god. You're okay, okay, you know what? We're done, we're done, this is it. We're gonna go, we're gonna head out, everything is fine. We're not gonna be caught, we're gonna be just fine. No cops are, <gasps> Wait, they're coming up the stairs right now. People are coming home, they're actually coming home into their house. Why are you opening all this? So this is the, uh, the bedroom. You know, I've, um, I've never done anything like this before. It's exhilarating. You know, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm normally, I'm, I'm very, um, well, no, I'm... Married. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. This is great. An affair. No, no, my God, Jules. you now. We don't know. We don't know that this is an affair. And my, my wife, she, she makes me very happy. Mm -hmm. Well, mo moderately happy. Moderately happy, eh? Let's see if I can top you off. Let's see if I can help top you off. Okay, okay, they're, they're, they're probably just talking about, like, Gas for his car. Wait, 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 wait. She can never find out. Relax, hon, she's never gonna find out. Oh, fist me, daddy. Sounds like I'm getting my old job back. Oh, Jules, no blackmail. Oh, this is the blackest of males and I'm not going to miss out. You're so warm. Oh, yeah. 
Do you have a rubber? I forgot one. I know that voice. Shh. Calm down. Oh, um, uh, closet. Uh, on the top. On the, um, the right. I don't think I can get a good shot from in here. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Shh. I know who it is. I am not kidding with you. I know I'm serious. <laughs> What? 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 What's wrong? Nothing. Uh, nothing is wrong. Why would you think anything is wrong? Because you screamed. I... I did. I... <laughs> I saw your, your wardrobe. Holy shit. It's like a 1950s dumpster fire in there. What the f... Most of that wardrobe came from my father. I mean, m mostly suits, but like other trinkets. Um, he left me when he died. I, it's all I have left of him. And they are... Gorgeous. I, your father must have been a fashionista. Um, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go freshen up really quick. I'll be right. I'll be right back. In in there, the 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 bathroom's over there. Oh yeah, there it is. I'll be right back. What the hell are you two doing here? What the hell are you doing in here? I am trying to get a sugar daddy. I'm trying to get my old job back. Ew. Oh my God, please don't tell me this is the guy that fired you. No. That's him. No, please don't tell me. Oh. You were trying to sleep with the principal. I told you. He's married. And what about Aaron? Aaron knows. I mean, it was actually all of his idea. We've been together for a while now that I think I can safely say we both want the same thing. Which is? Monogamy. Commitment. All of me for all of you. No. I'm basically. Okay, we have way overstayed our welcome, okay? Jules, you got the blackmail that you wanted, and I learned way more than I ever need to know about you. Secrets keep you young, Sarah, okay? I read it in a news source. Okay, Cosmo is not a reputable news source, Hardwick. If it is good enough for Kim K, it's good enough for me. Okay, you are not Kim K. All right, shut up. Listen, here's what we have to do. You have to distract him long enough for us to sneak out. Can you do that? Honey? Honey? Helen! My wife who I married in is now coming in the bedroom! Oh, 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 oh my god. She was not supposed to be in this oh room. You guys, this is a felony and it's like six years in prison and we got me. If you get caught, okay, don't be dramatic, oh okay? God. He has plenty of reason to get her out of here without ever needing to know that you two were ever in here. What are you doing home early? Well, the client bought the proposed ad, so... Huh. I took a celebratory leave. <laughs> Why are you yelling? How am I supposed to get this blackmail on camera if she's here? God, I can't believe this. She's gonna ruin everything. I'm just excited to see you. Huh. Wait, wait. <laughs> Please. T tell, tell me about your day. If we get caught, he's gonna blackmail me instead. Which is exactly what I would do in this situation. Charles was right. Julia, 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 stop <sighs> it. Okay, stop it. You don't need Principal Davis or Charles to give you what you need. You are a damn good screenwriter. And fuck anyone if they can't see that, okay? Principal Davis fired you because you were dreaming too hard. Charles dumped you because you were dreaming too hard. Take this period of unemployment as an opportunity to find yourself. Be free. Sometimes, we just have to give ourselves what we wish other people would give us. Jesus. That was like really... Deep, therapeutic, yeah. profound. Yep. Yeah, thank you. Why was that? You see, I haven't really been going to therapy a lot because I don't have a job, <laughs> but I've been watching a lot of Dr. Phil reruns and he says some really amazing stuff. You're right. Like this one episode, he was like, I feel I don't so need bad him. every time I look a teacher in the eye. I don't need this job. do so much in return for so... I am good enough. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna write. I'm gonna make a name for myself. And I'm not gonna take any more crap from anyone else. Especially you, you chode-loving, stupid, penis, idiot face! Julia? Shh! It doesn't matter what you say. I'm not coming back to work for you no matter how much you beg. I didn't offer- I know. And the answer is still no. I'm, I'm gonna write. I'm gonna make a name for myself. And I'm gonna make my dreams a reality. You know, all I ever wanted from you and Charles was 
a chance, just an opportunity to thrive and be successful. But sometimes you just gotta give yourself what you wish other people would give you. Uh, who's Charles? Shh, this is my moment. This is the day my whole life changes. You have a lovely I'm, home. You just sleep. I'm calling the police. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, I'm sleeping with your husband. So did either of you drive? Nope. We took a lift. Did you? No. I rode with him. You get Uber. Ew. No. Every time I try to Uber, the drivers always try to keep talking to me, and it is a literal hell. Also, it's surge hours, and that's really expensive. Well, I guess we're walking. <laughs> 